All right, in this segment of place and value on a company, we are going to look at earnings per share and the PE ratio. All right, so let's look at earnings per share. Um, earnings per share or EPS is equal to net income divided by all shares outstanding. And this simply gives you the net profit earned by each share. And the earnings per share is key um, in stock price valuation. And typically, uh, the earnings per share is provided for you on the income statement. Um, the earnings per share also provides an accurate view of how much that you've earned for each individual share that you own. And an example here, say for instance if you own five shares of Starbucks and Starbucks earn $3 per share. Well, essentially you have earned $15 because uh, the company made $3 per share and you owned five shares. Uh, a company's earnings per share is usually given to you once again on the income statement so you do not have to do any type of complex calculations to get the earnings per share and earnings per share has a direct relationship with net profit so if profit is increasing then the e the earnings per share uh, is increasing let's look at the price earnings uh, ratio or the PE ratio and the PE ratio is equal to the market price of a stock over its earnings per share and it is critical in predicting the future value of a stock and as you see we have a formula here it's uh, earnings per share times the PE ratio and it's equal to the market price or market value of a stock so you see right here in this formula alone you see how critical the earnings per share is and the PE ratio is in determining the market value of a stock. And the example of a calculation of a PE ratio, earlier we stated that Starbucks was earning $3 per share. Well, in addition to that, it was trading at $36 per share, or $36 was the market price for that particular stock. And from this information, we can derive the PE ratio, which is 12. And we got that by dividing the market price by three dollars per share and that will give you a P ratio of 12 and that's all it is and the P ratio is typically provided for you um, however to predict the future value of a stock you will need to find historical P ratios and from these historical P ratios ratios you will be able to derive a 5 to 10 year average of the company's performance. The current P ratio is pretty simple to find. You would find that in the Wall Street Journal or any type of um, uh, financial website. You should be able to find um, the current P ratio. The problem that will arise is the historical P ratio. You're going to have to do a little bit more research. But this is critical to get that average, that 5 to 10 year average of, of, of historical P ratios to be able to value to